Hello everyone, this is Everything Horror, where we love to talk about everything horror. And in this video, we are going to review Separation. Now, Separation was directed by William Brent Bell, who directed the best movie in the world, Brahms, colon, The Boy 2. I'm messing around here. You guys, to say that I was walk walking into this film with very low expectations is an understatement. It was very, very very bottom of the barrel expectations for this film and i have to say there are some bright spots to this movie but they're very few and far between now separation is about this family that's going through some issues and uh, a tragedy befalls the family which is the death of the mother and the father and daughter try to carry on with life without her but there are some weird things that begin to happen in their home after the death of the mother. Separation stars Rupert Friend, Brian Cox, Madeline Brewer, Mammy Gummer, and Violet McGraw. Separation is almost two hours and you really feel it, especially in the beginning of the film. I commend them for trying to build some of the characters, but it really was a slog and it wasn't very interesting. The main character, which is Jeff, is an artist. He's one of those characters that hit it big early in life and then after that they're trying to find themselves and things aren't going as well as they expected it to be. And that's what Jeff's character is going through in this film. He's going over this custody battle with his wife and there's this whole entire thing about him, him not having a quote unquote real job. Um, and you kind of feel for the guy but um, there's like a part of him that you just don't really like almost all of the characters in this in this movie are uh pretty horrible aside from the daughter but even she was getting on my nerves now after this incident that occurs there's this supernatural entity that is um using his artistry to uh scare them he has these marionettes that look like jesters and if you're afraid of clowns this might be a movie that'll really freak you out I'm not really afraid of clowns, but I have to say the creatures in this movie or the happers or whatever that you want to call them were pretty creepy. There was this one that, even though it's a trope, but there's this one that does that whole entire, um, you know, <coughs> you know what I'm talking about? It's like the weird movements, the contortion type of bone cracking type of stuff. Uh, it's it's pretty eerie, but but. You know, it's something that you've seen before. There are some pretty decent jump scares, but uh, they are way too tropey. There is a dream sequence that is a jump scare that was so annoying. How do you wake up from a dream? And then that turning out to be a dream and you waking up again. It's... Stop doing this, Hollywood. Stop! Acting was decent. I like the interaction between Jeff and Jenny. Um, I really like the uh, father and daughter relationship that they had. It really seemed like they had good chemistry, as well as uh, it was a well, it was a welcome sight to see Brian Cox in the film. He's pretty good, even though he's hardly in it. Um, but I, I enjoyed uh, the time that he was there. And then another positive was the strange humor in this movie. It almost seemed like a parody at points. I don't know if this was purposeful. There's this whole entire side plot of Jeff getting this job and he's there at the job and he has this uh, boss that's having him illustrate this comic book about darkness and all this stuff. And I thought the ca those characters were pretty funny and it was just, uh, it kind of takes you out of the film, but uh, I don't know, it was kind of entertaining. But that's the thing, there's parts of this movie that really drag on and there's some parts that are just really stupid there's some things that don't make sense and then the ending just gets too big for its bridges it's just it just gets way too hectic it just pretty much becomes the upside down in stranger things but really bad <laughs> discount stranger things it was uh pretty uh horrific to see and then the twist for the film you could just see it coming from a mile away the actor that they had for it just fortunately couldn't pull it off. I'm sorry. Yeah, separation is not that bad. It's still pretty bad, but it's not 
that bad. It's not Brahms colon the boy too bad. Sorry, I just had flashbacks to that film. But yeah, you guys, I'm going to give Separation one and a half peanuts out of five. What did you guys think of Separation? Make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I greatly appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up. And if you would like to, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, this is Everything Horror, where we love to talk about everything horror. Take care, peeps.